Well, hello folks, I'm Daniel Nobre, and here we are talking about the upcoming films for March 2022 from the Criterion Collection. Let's make some comments about those films. Stay with me because this is Cinema. I'm your host, Daniel Nobre. Welcome to Cinema. For the fans of the Criterion Collection, international films, independent films, and American classics. Please subscribe and enjoy this channel. And let's go for the first film. The first film is called Adoption. It's from 1975. It is directed by Marta Mezaros. And she's a very interesting Hungarian director that she won the Berlin Film Festival with this film. She was the first female director to do that. This film looks very interesting. It tells the story of Kata, an unmarried female factory worker who becomes interested in neglected children and tries to adopt one. Marta Mezaros. She's a Hungarian screenwriter and film director. Mezaros' work often combines autobiographical details with documentary footage. Prominent themes include the character denials in their pasts, the consequences of dishonesty, and the problematics of gender. Her films often feature heroines and fragmented families such as young girls seeking their missing parents or middle-aged women looking to adopt children. Our cover by Katia Mizibushkaya. Classic French film returning to the Criterion Collection. It was out of print. The movie is Le Cercle Rouge, The Red Circle from 1870, directed by the great Jean-Pierre Melville and starring Alain Delon, André Beauville, Jean-Marie Volonté, Françoise Perrier and Yves Montand. This film has a climatic heist sequence about a half an hour in length with almost no dialogue. Fantastic film. If you haven't seen it, check it out. This film, you're gonna love it. For me, probably this is a very nice welcome back to the collection. It's by number 218. New cover by Art Chantry Design. Another classic is Robert Aldrich, 1965, The Flight of the Phoenix, starring James Stewart. The story follows a small group of men struggling to survive their aircraft's emergency landing in the Sahara. He also stars a fantastic ensemble cast. The film got kind of fair reviews. They liked the directing of, the, of uh, the film. Of course, Robert Aldrich, very well known for Kiss Me Deadly in 1955, uh, Whatever Happened to Baby Jane in 1962, and probably one of his best, The Dirty Dozen, 1967. So it's definitely worth it. It's trading very well on the internet. I think the fans are very thrilled that this film is gonna be getting a uh, Blu-ray treatment. It's going to be available only in Blu-ray, not in 4K, not in DVD. And the beautiful art cover is by Sean Phillips. All right, then every time you hear about Martin Scorsese, new movie or coming to the collection, we get excited, of course. After all, he's a great film director. And certainly The Last Waltz is a pleasant and a very interesting surprise is a documentary made in 1978, directed by Scorsese. The Last Waltz was a concert by a Canadian-American rock group, The Band, held on American Thanksgiving Day, November 25th, 1976, in San Francisco. Because it was advertised as the farewell concert appearance, they invited several important guests for this concert. Bob Dylan, Ronnie Hawkins, Paul Butterfield, Bob Charles, Eric Clapton, Neil Diamond, Dr. John, Johnny Mitchell, Van Morrison, Ringo Starr, Muddy Waters, Ronnie Wood, and Neil Young also came to make a special appearance in this documentary. The concert was produced and managed by Bill Graham, and it was filmed by director Martin Scorsese. The Last Waltz is hailed as one of the greatest documentary concert films ever made. And the art cover is by Fred Davis. The last title of March, it is Love Jones from 1997, an American romantic drama film written and directed by Theodore Witcher in his feature film debut. 
Critics reviewed this film very well, but it was not a financial success in the box office. It has, however, a cult following for its realistic characters and unorthodox take on the romance genre. It is Theodore Witcher's only directorial work to date. And the art cover is by F. Rom Miller. And these are the five titles for March. And I definitely in for Le Cercle Rouge and Adoption. I like very much those titles. The other ones probably can wait a little bit more. What about you? What do you like to pick up this month of March? I'll let you know your opinion if you can put it on my YouTube channel, Cinemi with Daniel Nobri, and put your comments in there. I'll let you uh, know your thoughts. And I think every time I see a Criterion announcement, sometimes you're expecting certain films, sometimes you really get excited, sometimes not so much, but it's part of it. And then later on, you dig into the supplements that they come with it, and you really learn to appreciate different films. And I think this is the case, and I think that's pretty much what happens here in March. So check it out. I'm Daniel Nobri. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you like the content, there's more videos. There's several videos that I'll be reviewing different films. Coming new reviews very soon. One very exciting. So I hope you like the channel and subscribe if you are not a subscriber. And for my subscribers, thank you very much. I can't thank you enough, as you know. Okay, see you next time. Goodbye.